Hi everyone, Mace with Ramsey. This is essentially part two to an earlier video from going from an SLC to a lots processor. I'm going to show you two ways. One is just keeping the existing I.O. similar to the first video, but the second part is to actually rip and replace out the old hardware and you'll have all the newer type of product in place. And one of the extra features you'll notice is uh, R Slavic 500 version 12 has the migration tool built in. So let's show you what that looks like. So here is the same project that I downloaded on the earlier video. You'll see it's a very simple project, has inputs and outputs from an SLC, uh, a slick processor if you will. It was a 505 and had some I.O. inputs and outputs. To scroll through it real quickly, you can see it just has a counter, some other designations of outputs. It doesn't have any address uh, annotations, but that isn't important as you'll see. So all you have to do, file pull down, save as, and you'll notice where it says save as type with version 12, ACD has now appeared. So specifically, keep in mind this is version 12 and later that will do this particular feature to go from 500 to 5000 directly in the ArsLogic 500 software. So I'll select that and I'll give it a place to locate it. I'll put it on my desktop and I'll call it convert. And all the other defaults you'll be happy with where it says, for instance, create alias tags. If I did have symbols and annotations, you'll find that it will create that. Processor name, no reason to change that, but you could if you wanted to. Hit save. And now, as you might remember from my earlier video, you had to go to a separate utility called the, the project, pro, project migration tool. Um, this actually opens that behind the scenes for you within RSLogic 500. So they've linked the two together. The top version is just saying uh, what product you want to talk about uh, or convert to. So a control logics or a compact logics. Most people are finding that they like to go from the SLC 500 to a, a compact logics, especially the new 5069 family that has come out about two years ago. So I'm going to select compact logics. And as you can see in the middle of the page, it already gave us a default processor, a 5069. L33ER. That's kind of a good midpoint processor to start with. I also want to note very important, if you notice the revision here is either 30 or 31. I'm going to do version 31, but this particular migrator has assumed that you're going to be in version 30 or higher to do this new migration. You could revert back to a lower revision and a different processor when you're done here, but I just want to point that out. At this point in time, you won't be able to select, for instance, version 20. So I'll leave that the way it is. It gives you some information on the, on the processor, and then I'll hit next. And you might remember from the video, you had two choices. You can keep the existing I.O., pull out the processor that was there. My example earlier was a 505. And then you put a communication card in there, such as a 1747 AENTR. Or, the bottom selection says replace, update all I.O. as in replace all the I.O. So that means you would rewire everything. Now there are rumors that are pretty solid that somewhere in mid-2020 there will be a wiring arm conversion from a SLC 1747, 1746 product to a 5069 product and you'll simply have to just undo the wiring arms from the 1746 uh, I.O. for instance and put in the conversion modules and so on. I, I, caution you to count on that just yet. It is new development. We did see it automation fair last year. But like always, it's good to make plans on what's currently released and test it. So for the first part, I'm going to hit keep existing I.O. and simply hit the migrate button and hesitate. If you notice at the top on the screenshot, it's actually at an L5K file. And you might remember from my video where at that point in time when it goes from 500, and generates an L5K file that is a generic 5000 project that is about to be incorporated into an ACD file. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. So now you can see what's completed and it says application was migrated to an, uh, that earlier or later controller design. I'll hit launch RSLogic 500. Yes, I know they still call it RSLogic 500. 
does not say the Studio 5000 Logic Designer, I'm sure you can all understand why the L5K file originated in RS Logic 5000. So it will launch Studio 5000. And as you can see, the project is launched. At the very top, as you'd always expect, the banner talks about being version 31, and it specifies the, the actual processor that that application is good for. Again, as earlier in the video, the main task, if I double click on that and go into the main routine, you'll see it simply is redirecting or doing a jump to a subroutine uh, called ladder two or two ladder, uh, which is where all the code is. So if we navigate to that and double click to ladder, there is the project that was migrated. Now, like in the earlier video, it actually puts Ethernet bridge, it gave it a name, and that is the old existing IO again, now referenced in the new 5000 project. And we can see that by moving our mouse down here and seeing where the 1747 ANTR Ethernet bridge was created plus the matching IO. So it's going to reuse all that IO and again communicate to it via Ethernet, and that has to be a compact to control logics. I do recommend being in version 3031 with the newer 569 processors. We have no word on 1769 obsolescence, but we expect them to be around for a long time. But the 5069 family is certainly the long generation 10, 20 years out. All right, so that's basically part one. We're pretty much done. This can be downloaded, cleaned up first, whichever you feel like, downloaded to a compact or control logics processor, and it will control the I.O. Let's do the other version. I'll close the, that project, and I'll do the process again. File, save as, ACD. I'll go into my folder here, and I could actually, you know what, let's make a new one called Convert2. And we'll get the same kind of prompts. I'll say compact logic again. Might as well stick with the same processor and revision. Now, on this question, I'm going to say update all I.O. And there's really something important here. Specifically, I picked this particular migration of hardware to point out something very important. The first two are easy. They're both 16 inputs. They're both AC. So it migrates very easily from a 1746 IA4, for instance, to an AC input module for 5069 failing. If you notice, something else happened. The 1746 OV8 did not migrate to a 5069. So some have called me and said, hey, I click on that, I still don't see a 5069. If you remember what an OV6, OV8 is, it is called a syncing output module. Syncing are not the future of, of Rockwell Automations. Most of them will not be available. In, in fact, we don't expect the 5069 family to ever have a syncing output module, DC or AC regardless. It's just a, a direction that they've decided to choose. So that means you have to pick an, a source output module of like I.O. count. So that's what we're going to do. At this point, honestly, you could just pick a, a 1769 deselect place I.O. modules in racks. That means it will not put an I.O. module for that particular module because it doesn't have a, a syncing output module to choose. So let's proceed. Migrate. Okay, so now you can see it completed. Again, no errors. If you have errors, certainly call Rockwell Automation to see what happened. Um, I have not heard any errors. This new migration tool seems to be very solid. So I'm going to hit the launch RS Logic 5000 button again and let it generate that ACD file from the L5K file again. So now the project has launched. We'll take a quick look in the main program as before. It jumps to the second routine of tasks and our ladder. But if you scroll down, you're going to see some red lines, which are errors. And if you know what's going on, see how it says local 
output data zero. Well, if you come to the I.O. tree, where it says 5069 backplane, you'll notice there is no I.O. module. Again, that's because 5069s do not support a syncing type output. So I'm going to pick a source output, which is a lot more standard out there, and then I'll read, read map a couple of addresses for you so you can see how that works. It's not bad, really, if you're used to remapping, but um, if it's new for you, then great. I'm glad to show you something you haven't seen before. So first, I have to add it to the I.O. tree to map it to the device, correct? So I'll right-click, New Module, and I'll just scroll down and grab an OB16, for instance. Um, I believe that earlier one was at 8, so you probably could get away with OB8 if budget was a concern. I'll say Create. And I'll call it a little bit more uh, larger caps and all that, but this would be the output. Everything else should be fine. I'll hit OK. So now I have a piece of hardware, as in an output module, to address these other I.O. modules to. So let's do it. I'll come up to the first one. Double click, hit the navigate button, and there is my first output zero. Enter, enter. And if you can notice here on rung two, the error symbol went away. That's because this is now legal code. It would run in a processor. Let's do the next one. Double click, navigate down to the first, I'm um, oh, sorry, the second output technically, right? Enter, enter. As you can see, the errors went away again. Now this is, as you can see on the left, on rung four in the beginning, the same address as the end of rung three. So as I show in my classes, left click, drag, and you have no more errors anymore. If you're concerned, if it's a large project especially, of course, always check and do at the very top verify controller, which does all code throughout the whole processor. And if you notice at the bottom, zero errors, zero warning. So this is now a new project for our certified 5000 Logics Designer that will work in a 5069 controller. You're ready to go. And that's really it. So thanks for watching. Again, I'm Mace with Rumsey. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact myself or any of the other Rumsey specialists.